So I've got a bit of a challenge for you today. Now I know that you all like macarons, but how many of you have actually made one? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make one now. So I've got 40 grams of water here that I'm going to make into a syrup with 125 grams of caster sugar. Heat it till it reaches 112 degrees Celsius. And it's best to use a candy thermometer for this. Now while that's boiling, you want to get started on the egg whites. So I've got 55 grams of egg whites here. I want to whisk this to the soft peak stage. So hopefully this will be ready by the time that's ready. So this is ready now. So we turn this back on. Slowly combine the syrup with the egg whites until the mixture reaches 50 degrees Celsius. And again, you can use your candy thermometer to check. Next, combine 150 grams of almond meal and 150 grams of icing sugar in a bowl. Add 50 grams of egg whites and mix it in well. Add the meringue and mix. You actually want to deflate the mixture, even though that goes against our instincts with egg whites. Now pop the mixture into a piping bag and pipe onto a baking tray. Leave the macarons to form a skin, which takes about 30 minutes. They should be in the oven for 18 minutes at 150 degrees. Now, while those shells are baking, let's make the ganache filling. Take 100 ml of cream, add three Dilma rows with French vanilla tea bags, and heat for 10 minutes. Now, I like colour, so I'm going to add a little food colouring to the ganache. Now grind the chocolate as fine as possible and add the hot cream mixture. Mix together and place in the fridge to set for an hour. So these are my baked macaron shells. Now I've just got the final step, which is filling them up with ganache. Just pipe a little. Don't go all the way out to the edge because when you put the top macaron on, it'll actually um, put some weight down on it. And there you go. match up the tops and then what you're going to do is you're going to put them in the freezer and they can stay there for a couple of months and just before you want to eat them put them in the fridge and they'll reach a nice texture and do that maybe a day before you want to eat them so there you have it macarons